Jalan. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you like to support your independent artist, Cash App, dollar sign, Michael, you going to be right here. You're going to be right here because I ain't trying to go to no Diddy party to get with those majors. Absolutely not staying independent. YSL, Young Thug, look like that nigga will be released. Uh, bribes uh, were taken in exchange with his judge, his judge. His uh, everybody taking bribes. Everybody is getting that hush money, and it look like uh, Young Thug will be coming home. Can we get a drum roll? Drum roll. Drum roll. Look at this mess here. There that nigga is right there. I'm not saying niggas so much. So I can get some damn money. Get monetized. Anyway, hiphopdx.com. If you guys want to check out the article, YSL. Uh, Rico trial takes turn as corrections officer charged with collaborating with defendant, which is Young Thug. So the correctional officer is charged with taking bribes on the behalf of Young Thug. Article written by Ty St. Louis. The YSL Rico trial has taken another surprising turn as a former Fulton County corrections officer has been accused of collaborating with one of Young Thug's defendants. According to WSB TV, 31 year old Carmen Bailey has been charged with accepting $17,000 in bribes, including from Marquavius Huey's family in exchange for delivering drugs and other contraband to inmates at the Fulton County Jail. Let's see, everybody corrupt, but they get mad when I'm trying to sell a little something. They get mad when I'm trying to not pay taxes. Woo! The case against Bailey came to a head when officials searched through her phone and found evidence of Apple Pay transactions and communications with Huey's mother and brother. She has been charged with four counts of violation of oath, two counts of bribery, and two counts of obtaining, procuring, giving inmates prohibited items without authorization. So I guess Bailey is, uh, Carmen Bailey is the officer. Carm them, them female, black female correctional officers, boy, they off the chain. The Fulton County Sheriff's also, Office also confirmed that Huey's mother and brother, Melissa and Jeremiah uh, Huey, have been arrested through their charges, though their charges were not made public. So everybody getting arrested. The YSL RICO trial has been its fair, have seen its fair share of drama. Let me blow this up. The YSL RICO trial has seen its fair share of drama since it began in November 2023. It is now not only the longest running trial in history, but also a set a new record earlier this month. On October 2nd, X account, the Black Law student noted that YSL defense lawyers have filed a total of 45 motions for mistrial since the trial began, none of which have been granted. This is the first time such a thing has ever happened. This trial has been going a long time, they write. He coming home, uh, the unorthodox record was ta tallied the day after Thug's lawyer's latest motion for mistrial was denied by Judge Paige Reese Whitaker. While that is a setback for the YSL rapper, Whitaker also slammed the prosecution for how they are presenting their, presenting their case against Thugger, who they call, who, who they accuse of being the head of criminal street gang. Hold on, y'all. This is this is a no all this flashing is just distracting me all along. So everybody's messing up the prosecution, the defendant, correctional officers. In a moment of frustration, captured on the court's live stream, Whitaker admonished prosecutors saying, I don't want to malign the prosecutor standing in front of me right now. So I'm not going to say the possible things it could be. But it is baffling to me that somebody with the number of years of experience that you have. Time after time after time continues to seemingly and purpose 
fully hide the ball to the extent you possibly can for as long as you possibly can. So they hide the ball. She added, I really don't want to believe that it is purposeful, but honestly, after a certain number of times, you start to wonder how could it be anything but that? Unless it is just that you are so unorganized that you are throwing this case together as you try it. This case is being made much more difficult for everybody because of the haphazard, haphazard way in which it is being presented. So the prosecutors ain't presenting it in the way they should. That's what I'm saying. He's coming home. Whitaker then called a brief recess and retreated to her quarters to consider the mistrial motion, but ultimately denied, ultimately decided against it. Wait, hold on. Is there a way I can get this all, all this flashing? But once again, if you guys want to read the rest of the article, once again, it's hiphopdx.com. Leave it up for young thug, young thug. <clears throat> Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this rooted in music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Sorry for all the hiccups, all that damn flashing, and they put the they put this crap. Oh, now I want to go with so all this right here and it's flashing, it's moving. I'm trying to concentrate on what it's looking like. But anyway, um, pretty much the prosecutors are not presenting the case in a professional manner. Um, one of YSL's gang members, Young Thug is the leader and one of his folks is getting that sack in, in prison through a correctional officer named Carmen Bailey. Carmen Bailey is a correctional officer out there in Fulton County. She's bringing the drugs in for young thugs folks and this nigga is still not locked up i don't think he's i don't think he's gonna stay there i think i give this trial probably another year max but i see i might be wrong but I, i'm pretty sure he's gonna be home in about six months this case is done everybody they had judge judges switching up they had bribes they had uh one of the judges sleeping with young thugs Co-defendants is nasty in Atlanta. It's jumping in Atlanta. I gotta hit New York and Atlanta. Those are like the two places, like, whoo, it's jumping. It is really jumping. So a lot of criminal activity, a lot of undermining things have been going on. A lot of mischief has been going on throughout this trial. That's why I said it's a joke. Even the judge, she's pretty much saying this is a joke how you guys are presenting this case. It shouldn't be this difficult. This nigga should have been locked up because they said that ever since Young Thug has been locked up, the crime has been going down in uh, Atlanta. So if the crime's going down, him and, well, they not just got him out the way. They got YFN, YFN L, what's his name? YFN Lucci. YFN Lucci. Make sure I get his name right. I like YFN Lucci. Yeah, I had it right. YFN Lucci. YFN Lucci is rivals with Young Thug. So they got both these niggas locked up. And I heard that YFN Lucci was stabbed by one of uh, Young Thug's homies when they were behind the wall. So it's a lot going on. And I think YFN Lucci is going to get out too. I think they both going to get out. I think this was all a sham. I think this was all a distraction. A distraction from what? I don't know. But if these two niggas is causing this much havoc in Atlanta and you got both of them in custody... What y'all waiting on? They in there for a reason. What you waiting on? Y'all flood my comments. Do y'all think Young Thug is getting out? Or are they going to keep him and YFN Lucci behind the wall for another two or three years with all these damn mistrials? Dragging this trial along. 250 capital G. Roots it in music TV. I'm gone.